Hey guys, if you are a developer creating an application like a social network, maybe a LMS, maybe something like a CMS, right? Uh, some type of application that needs to have file upload either for in-house tools or for pretty much the public, I definitely recommend you guys to start using Filestack. Now, Filestack provides you guys with a simple file uploader and also to some powerful APIs to upload and transform and deliver any type of file into your application. Now, some of the companies that use them are SendGrid, SlideShare, right? uh, Teachable, uh, Airtable. Now, what's really cool for me is that I've been using Filestack for years through Teachable right this is how it looks and basically what they have here is the file uploader right and this is all provided by file stack okay very simple right it has everything from being able to upload from your device you could connect to like google drive or dropbox through oauth right um you could basically do some web search onedrive you could even put a link right even the onedrive business uh, again it's very straightforward so i'll show you guys just a quick example of how this will work like an upload right and pretty much right there as you can see uh, the file uploads are very fast and very reliable okay this is why teaching has been using them for years and you know it makes sense for a business right um, whenever you're building an application like a LMS or even like a social network one of the things that makes an application like this hard is usually like the managing of the files and also to uh, having to create custom uh, user interfaces for like the file uploads or even uh, allowing users to transform the images or transform the files. But again, file stack provides all of this for you guys. Again, you have file upload, transform, uh, the deliverability of these files, everything is provided to you uh, by a file stack. And again, the SDKs and APIs that they have can pretty much work for anything from JavaScript, or Ruby on Rails, PHP, Python. So it doesn't matter what type of backend uh, you're using, you can pretty much go ahead and, and basically start using their APIs and, and their services. Another thing too, that's pretty cool is that you can upload to any type of you know service that you might have as far as like storage so it's not like you're limited to just say hey i want to just upload my files to file stack uh pretty much you have access to connect it to whatever uh you're using it could be google cloud it could be something like uh AWS, right, uh, etc., or even like your own hosting service that you might be having, like your own servers. Now, again, they have some pretty cool uh, examples here on how the users can actually transform the images, which is something that's very cool to me because I've actually had to build this from scratch. <laughs> and I know how much of a headache this is. Like I always hated to do this, having to set up the transformations and, and, and things like that. Like let's say somebody wanted to um, basically make something a little bit smaller or they wanted to crop something or maybe they wanted to put a overlay, right? Or maybe they wanted to add a filter, like pretty much uh, file stack provides all of this for you. So as you can see, you can go ahead and add some filters to it, right? Uh, something similar to like Instagram uploads images. This could be something that could be pretty cool uh, for you to, to add. Then you also have like adjustments. You could have blur, brightness, contrast, gamma, hue, noise, pixelate, right? Uh, you could add images or let's say text on top of this, right? So there's a lot of things that you guys can do uh, to manipulate. Uh, the images and, and just the uploads from the, the users, okay? Uh, you can also go in and have your images uh, being optimized for deliverability, right? So let's say, for example, you wanted to create multiple images depending on the different responsiveness or the different sizes on the device, you can actually see some improvement with that, okay? Also too, then you have the AI part of it where you can actually detect if it's an image from like a face or if it's an object right a good example that they have here is uh, this section here where you basically could look at the filter of the content so let's say you have a website where 
I don't know, it's a social network, right? And people are just uploading constant images to your website, etc., right? But you wanna make sure that it's images that are safe for work, that don't have viruses, right? Um, and, and basically certain type of images that might not be good for your application, you can go ahead and start setting up some filters uh, for it. And basically that will also be a way to protect your application and protect your your service okay uh, another thing tool that they also have is file stack ocr automating data uh, capture so for example you have an application let's say i don't know it's something like the dmv or maybe is an application for the government and you're allowing the users to upload their ids you can basically go in and have through their apis have uh the users data so for example like what state they're from what's the address what's their name you know uh get information from the image itself this is why you have companies like you know coca-cola monster uh ted right and there's a lot of big companies that use their services and it's for a reason okay uh they're basically the leaders when it comes to the space and when it comes to like providing everything within one platform now I'm gonna go in into probably the most important thing that we all care about. Joe, how's the documentation of this API? Is it simple, right? Can we follow it along? Hey, I'm a junior developer. I might not know so much. Is it, you know, very approachable, right? Guys, it doesn't matter what level you're at, you can pretty much use file stack okay like literally the documentation is pretty straightforward they give you everything about what file stack is how file stack works right they show you how to use the upload file picker right the uploading how to do drag and drop how to handle your storage or how to handle cdn right and i'll give you an example like this one right here right you can see you get examples for the web ios and android so file stack is not just for the web you can also use it for ios apps and android applications but again if you click over here you can pretty much see how to actually get your uh file uploader started in in a very simple way okay it's not that difficult to get started with this okay and they have everything that you need examples and also to more details about each section of this api all right so again the documentation is a plus okay i give them a hundred percent when it comes to <laughs> to the documentation a 10 out of 10 okay so yeah man i really like file stack now guys uh the good old people from file stack uh wanted me to let you guys know that you guys can also try this out for free okay you don't have to go in here and just watch this from afar get your hands dirty get in there start trying this out right literally file stack you could get started with a bandwidth of one gigabyte you could do 500 upload right uh 1000 transformation in a file stack storage of one gigabyte okay that's pretty good so let's say you have an idea an application right that you're building and you're like man i want us to get started with this you could start using file stack and start growing as your application grows too you get what i'm saying so initially you could get it out there and, and and basically get your application started and have some users try it out and as users start coming in start signing up or you start getting more income either from advertisement or from a subscription whatever your service is then you grow with that okay so again definitely check it out link is going to be in, on the description of this video so again guys get your hands dirty start building applications uh, again, file stack is going to save you so much time. And yeah, man, you already know. See your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Peace.